Hello, welcome back. Um, so sorry I've not been able to make a couple of videos for a few days now actually. I've just uh, been so busy with uh, all kinds of stuff. So let's have a little look about what's going on with Bitcoin. So I'm not your financial advisor, this is not financial advice, um, but we're going to have a look all the same and uh, see what we can make of this. So uh, first we'll start with Bitcoin obviously. Bitcoin's continuing to consolidate and um, it did test the uh, the the support level of 9,200 like we thought it was going to do and it found a really decent bounce from there. That was the first test. Um, I expect it to test again. Um, earlier on in my videos I did say that I was I, I expected to test this a couple of times before it breaks and I do think it will break. At the moment we're having a bit of a, a movement to the up um, just, just today really. Nothing, nothing exciting, nothing major, but now we've broken above these moving averages, we're testing one of the most important ones, which is the 50 EMA. Uh, and um, actually that 50 EMA is on this, just just about to cross this trend line that I've, I've, I've popped in here, descending trend line. And um, if we can break out of that, then it should be a good sign. If, that, that, if we break above this area now, and we're really in a bit of a make or break area, we'll call it 9,800. If we can break above that, then we'd be above the trend line. We'd also be above the 50-day uh, the, the EMA. Uh, that would probably spark a bigger move, um, a big move all the way up to roughly around 10,200 where we're probably going to get rejected um, but if we can break above that then we might have changed our, our trend again. Um, but um, I'm still sticking with my original thought which is that we're probably going to come back down to test the 9,200 again and, um, and break beneath it. Now today it looks like the momentum wants to move up. Um, but it's still very, very weak. When you look at these indicators, it's still very, very weak. RSI wants to come up, so there is a chance that we would probably try to break above this uh, 50 EMA, and we could break above it, but the chances of breaking above the 200 is very unlikely, more likely to be rejected from that, and that would probably um, trigger a big sell-off, that sell-off coming all the way back inside this trend line to test this... Um, support area of 9200 to 9000 and once that's tested a third time and if it's a deeper test sort of closer to the 9000 then I would expect it to break and probably come back down here we are make or break though so like I say we're just just testing these areas here we're closer to breaking above than we are below but the momentum um, and the weight of, of that move will, will probably be too heavy to keep it above or even get above the 200 EMA which is around that 10,200 area the weight would probably spark another sell off and um, then the bulls would again have another position to, to weigh us all the way back down under the trend line and, um, and, and test this area and probably break it that's my expectation of Bitcoin over the next few days to perhaps a week and we're probably going to be testing this area breaking it and then falling back a little lower um, so we'll leave it with you there on, on, on Bitcoin, so let's have a look at Matic. So here we are, Matic um, on the Tether value, looking very sorry for itself, very, very sorry indeed. And the death cross um, really did spark off a big sell-off that's continuing to fall. Uh, we're testing this area, making actually new lows um, of, uh, what's that, would that would be 1.1 1 .1 cent. It's pretty low. We go to um, the, the Satoshi value and let's have a look to see if we've made any new lower lows here. Um, we're, we're always going to be bouncing around this little area, so it's showing significant support, decent support level around 114 Satoshis, thereabouts. We're probably going to be testing that again today because Bitcoin's making moves faster than. Uh, faster than uh, Matic is and to be honest with you the dominance is still pretty high it is receding but it's still pretty high it really needs to come back down to around 65 percent dominance or lower and um, for any of these guys to make a, a, a significant move so at the moment all alts really across the board generally speaking apart from perhaps maybe Litecoin, uh, Bitcoin Cash and a few others really are, are going to be looking pretty much like this, um, not likely to make any decent recovery um, for quite a while. Um, yeah, I mean the, this is a huge consolidation now. Well, our trading range is getting smaller and smaller and smaller, but uh, there's 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 no there's no real reason why it should should bounce. The only good thing I can say is that because it's been trending sideways with the bearish sideways and slowing down in its movements, is that. Um, 
it's going to give all these moving averages a chance to converge again um, at some point in the not too distant future but not immediate um, as we see the 200 EMA sloping all the way down like this it's going to get to a point where it's uh, it's going to end up meeting with these guys again and when they meet then then that would that would create some sort of decent relatively decent move um, we'll, we'll just sort of roughly anticipate when that's likely to be and it's not going to be for another couple of weeks I'd say we'll give it we'll give it three weeks before that happens and when that does happen unless there's big moves with alts within three weeks which there might be there might be but unless there is um, we're not going to see a reversal in, in this trend with, with Matic um, again it's going to be the same with one uh, one basically moves almost exactly the same as Matic um, and it's actually it's actually looking a little better than Matic in a way. Um, yeah, it's it's not it's not testing those all time lows of 100 satoshis. It's actually bouncing around 105. So it's it's almost identical really to Matic. Yeah, we can have a look at the tether pairing for what it's worth. Um, again, we're making new lows, so it's it's pretty much the same deal as Matic. Um, I would say with this guy. It's so new. It's, these kind of coins are so hard to say. With this guy, yeah, I would also say it's going to be a couple of weeks before we've seen anything decent, any significant change or trend. Um, ERD even harder to map out because it's so young. Um, but um, we have a look on the the tether. It's 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 again making new lows. So almost exactly the same. It's so new that it's it's near impossible to work out what it wants to do. At the moment, I would just say it's going to continue to go down um, and follow the the trend with alts in general, um, which would be in about two weeks to three weeks' time. There will be some moves with alts, um, bigger moves than than obviously what's been happening here. Satoshi levels sideways, new lows. It's it's not a good coin to take on. Um, right. <laughs> All right, we'll have a look at the BitTorrent token. So I love BitTorrent token. It did it did did do a lot for me, um, but at the moment it's not doing anything for anyone. The Satoshi value is so small now that it, we're actually plateauing around of uh, an area of uh, between nine, eight, and nine. And given the fact that we're doing this, it wouldn't surprise me at all if this range starts to flicker between seven and eight. Um, again, we're waiting for this. This this alt change in trend, this retreat in Bitcoin dominance, which I would expect again to be in about three weeks' time. Um, nothing is going to be going on with this guy until then. And and again, look, I mean, it's exactly the same. The trends, are, the 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 moving averages, they're all exactly the same. And I bet you they'll be the same on the majority of alts. We have a death cross. We have a bear trend. Um, we have new lows, uh, we have descending um, moving averages, and we're not able to even try to test um, the 50 EMA, never mind get close to the 200. So they all look like they're moving together and they're all looking like they want to do something in probably around three weeks time. So that would bring us up to, well, I think when, when I mapped it out here, yeah, it looked looks yeah, it looked like something had happened by the seventeenth, okay? So it's about three weeks time from from now. Just just under three weeks time. So we'll have to keep our eye on the prize, see what's happening around that time. But um, Bitcoin dominance retreats. At the moment Bitcoin dominance does look like it wants to move up a little. Um uh, and it and and that's normal because it has receded some. Um, but it looks like it's also consolidating itself. So yeah, there will be moves up, there will be moves down. But the the, the medium trend I think for bit to, uh, Bitcoin dominance is is going to be down. But it's not going to be down an enormous amount. We're probably going to be back down, uh, and and it might even converge with these moving averages. I mean they are they are all linked together. So about three weeks time, Bitcoin dominance should have receded even further back down to 65 or lower. And that will give all these alts, especially these guys that we're looking at here, that time to to make that bounce. And that bounce could be pretty significant. Uh, what we're looking really to see is this green one here and this white one here cross back over, do the opposite of what happened here, creating essentially a golden cross. 
that should spark some decent moves but at the moment you can see that that's not likely to happen anytime soon um, it looks more likely to be happening around three weeks from now so it all looks like it's going to make sense in about three weeks time for alts but for bitcoin today and for the rest of the day and for the rest of the week yeah there's a chance it could break above this trend line and if it does 10,200 would be our target that would spark a sell off back down to 9,200 and lower over time Anyway, I'll leave it with you there. Thanks for watching. Sorry that I've not been able to make videos. I, I, I am quite busy you now. I'm a psych nurse, so I've got plenty of patience to see. Um, but um, I, I'm glad you tuned in to watch me today. Take it easy. Have a nice day. And thanks for watching.